Hello everyone. Today we are here to talk about stammering awareness with Biula Samuel Opu. Uh, Biula, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, uh, hi, I'm Biula Samuel Opu and I'm studying at LSE and I'm also a person who stammers. Cool. Uh, so Biula, would you like to mention about your education journey? I, uh, first, um, I did an undergraduate in English at SOAS, which is quite close. And I also um, I'm doing a double degree program in with LSE in Peking University in China. So I'm studying public administration and government and specializing in public management. Nice. So how has it impacted you and your academic journey, including any extracurricular activities that you have done throughout your, uh, your student life? I think, well, at the beginning, I used to be quite ashamed of the fact that I stammer. So I used to hide it quite a bit, and I used to try the best I can to pretend like I, I, I don't. But the thing is, it's very difficult to hide. So when, when I hide it, when it comes out, I always felt very ashamed people notice that I stammer and so it kind of made me more very shy and not really want to talk to anyone it also made me not really want to participate in class as much and it's made me not want to be involved because I was afraid I would stammer or I was being really afraid of of doing presentations or group activities that required a lot of speaking so at the beginning of my my, my first at least my first year I was trying my best to hide it and I'm not, I'm not stammer at all, but it was quite difficult to hide, I think. Yes. Okay. And how did you overcome this? I think I had to learn how to accept stammer as a important part of who I am, that it was nothing to be ashamed of, that um, stammering is what makes me me, and there's nothing wrong with it. So and I think I also had to almost have a lot of faith in people around me that they they don't particularly always mind the fact that I stammer. Is that the, it's not something that is more about me, and also be more open about it with my with my lecturers or anyone who's in class to say that I stammer. Or if I do an interview, the first thing I say I stammer, so I feel more confident because they're aware of it. So I don't feel something. I try to learn that's nothing to be ashamed of. It just makes me me. That's really good to know. I mean, yeah, sometimes people do feel shy uh, about their stammering. Um, they prefer not to speak. So I believe, yes, the advice you share is, is really helpful for the students as well. So um, how you get involved with this stammering awareness movement? I, I think it was, it was almost by accident because I was the disabled students officer at my university and I was really before trying to make on the conversations about invisible disabilities, and I I, I happened to find it, um, emailed the pro director and realized she also stammered as well, and uh, my my university at SOAS, and I found it was one of the few times I found another person who could stammer as well, especially also being a high position at my university, and so I had a meeting with her, and um, she invited me to involved in a conference she was speaking at. And that kind of made me almost also coincided with me growing my confidence and my stammer because I started to meet people who also stammered like me that I wasn't alone. I wasn't the only person who stammered, so it contributed to that fact. Okay, Anna, um, why students should not feel shy or embarrassed um, because of their stammer? I think you should look at stammer. It's, it's always a quarter part of who you are. It's nothing wrong. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. Like you should be was like this is me and the, 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 the just I don't think there's any wrong with stammering I think it's more about being in your head and you're thinking that if you have any form of weakness that's something to be ashamed about but I don't think stammering is a weakness stammering is just it's like how everyone has a part of you and everyone has a, has a unique part of myself and stammering is that as well for me and so it's a point, point, part of my my personality I feel it's a part of my personality part of me and what people recognize me as and I think when I was more proud about my stammer, I got more confident. I think it really helped me to become more confident in who I am. And it helped me be, be more flourishing in my friendship groups and other school as well, when I was more open about it.
Um, and is there any proud moment for you while working with this stammer, stammering issue? Um, I guess this is linked to what I said before I got involved when I got involved in the stammering conference. It kind of made me more confident and I was almost so on, like, on, on, the, on the stage being able to stammer freely and not be ashamed of it. That was a really proud moment because for, for a lot of time I tried to hide the fact that I stammer, but it was so good to be right with other people who stammer and stammer with other people and be really confident that this is very important and this is something I shouldn't be ashamed of. So. Yeah, I think I really truly agree with you. Like there is no shame to accept in in the public that yes, I do stammer and I have a problem. Uh, or I mean, I have some sort of like problem when I speak. I can't speak like other normal people. So on that point, there is nothing shame to share it. Or I I don't think it's important for hide. Um. So how would you like to? advise any non stammer people like how would like is there any tips for any non stammer people how they can support the stammer student or any final word for our students i like to say at first if you stammer it's always post post to speak with about the beginning like if you start university or even if you're starting a new course always be open with the people around you because I feel like when you stammer, you feel afraid or you don't want to show any form of because you believe being stammering is a weakness, but it's really not. It also helps understand how help people who are in your care to help you properly and know how to help you. And also you should be clear of how people, because people don't always know how to address someone who stammers or what they should do. Just say like, what do you need to make yourself more comf comfortable? This is whether if you're going to an interview, would you rather do a face-to-face -face interview which, or via Zoom, not a phone call? Or, or something to do that I when you if you ask the lecturers to give you more time in presentations when speaking so the fact or be aware of the fact that you stammer so they don't so, so if you make you more confident so if you do stammer you don't feel ashamed as like this is something you prepared for so I think almost be more confident and be open about it, especially in the beginning and if there's some things you need to do to make you feel more comfortable like be open about it in the beginning so people know how to help you and I think it also makes you feel like you have a space to be proud of your stammer as well so that's what I'd say yeah I mean yeah like those last few advices are really useful and I, I do think it's really important like sometimes it's even if that person is new student we actually don't know whether they have any invisible disability or not so on that point if they share it with the person or other peers i think that literally will, will help us to you know to sort out the problem and to support them so yes and, and thank you any anything else you want to share um, any last words just just be proud of the fact that you stammer just always remember that being Sarah makes you a really cool, very interesting human being, and don't try, try don't try to hide it. You, be, I think you'll be a happier person and more interesting person for it. So. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for coming. As you might know right now, we are doing an Stamming Awareness campaign um, at the Student Union. So yes, um, I'm hoping after watching your interview, more people will come forward and they will also feel proud that yes, I, I have a little bit slam, stammering or but I have a stammering problem, uh, but I want to share it proudly that yes, I'm, I'm not like you guys, but still, I can do well, I can do my job properly. So yes, thank you so much Vula, uh, for coming today and thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much who are watching this interview. Uh, if you guys have any question, feel free to share it with us and we will pass it to the relevant people so that they can answer. Thank you.